Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio Undefeatable. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. Okay, let's get down to business. In the last episode, we were sort of revamping this area. That's still sort of ongoing, although as something that has needed to be done for a while, I kind of want to make sure that we sort out the good old... The good old science lab situation. Because it's kind of, kind of terrible uh, at this current moment. So we're going to try and get that sorted out if possible. Uh, you need a little bit more... Mm, do you need more coal? Mm, no, you don't really need more coal. Uh, Alright, yeah, let's go and try and sort out the uh, situation that we've got over in the science lab area. Let me pick up all of you. I don't need all this stuff. Player's inventory is full, really? I mean, we could just make a whole bunch of inserters. That would be grand. There we go. That works. 85 inserters queued up. Holy cow. Yeah, we also really need to get green science sorted out sometime because there is a lot of tech that is super, super, super important that is green. So uh, we need to make sure we get right on that. Okay, let's go and have a look. To try and place some of this stuff down. It shouldn't be too difficult to do. Um, yep. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, you go there. Uh, okay, so basically it's... Shit. It's, uh, it's, it's regular inserters in the middle. And then it's red ones somewhere else. Like right next to it. Okay, it's kind of a little bit inconsistent at the corners, but eh, I guess I'll take it. It doesn't really matter. Okay, oops, there we go, there we go. I guess that's not very inconsistent, actually. It's consistent enough. Yeah, it's mediocrely inconsistent. Alright, you there, you there, you there, you there, you there. That's pretty consistent, actually. That's pretty darn consistent. Alright, can we get some long-armed inserters? Shouldn't be too difficult to do. Cannot insert into inventory. Why? There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, let's make more of them. Why not? Let's make as many as we possibly can. Alright, fingers crossed that that's going to be enough. Okay, and let's go from this side once again, just to make sure that everything is sorted. Good, 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 good. We want it to look really nice and consistent, to be honest. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, the more consistent, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. It, this is the most, this is the most boring part. You know, thank God we don't have to do this often. We only need to do it once, and then it's done pretty much forever, and we never really need to address it again. Although, we will need to address it uh, whenever we decide to make a new science area, but that's not going to be for a long, long, long time. So we're basically not going to have to address it for a fairly long period of time. But that's that's pretty good looking, and we should be able to, to do a whole bunch of stuff with that. Uh, landfill... The landfill requires 50 green science. I kind of really want to get the landfill done, uh, if you know what I mean. It would be really, really great if we could complete it, because whilst we're working on this area down here, it would be really great if we could just fill in a little bit of water and, uh, and, and fix it up. That would be an ideal case scenario. So we're going to try our best to make that happen. Okay. What do we need? We need iron. Yeah, I can get some iron. We don't have a ludicrously large amount of iron, but it's not bad, I guess. It's not bad. It'll have to do. Alright, yeah. Let's just queue up a whole bunch of them uh, so that we can let that just tick over in the background whilst we're uh, whilst we're we're looking at this area and how we can actually improve this area. Let's get some lamps down. Okay. Four lamps, I think, should be more than enough. Yeah, there we go. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, what do we need to do next? So we've got this. We've got this. We've got the carbon that comes in. That's grand. 
Uh, the other part was getting the solder sorted out, so we're going to need to do that. That involves lead plate. I can never remember. It's such a complicated process. I can never remember it. Uh, lead and tin plate. Well, we've got the tin. Speaking of the tin, though, um, let's just put the tin over here for now. Uh, not the tin. The stone over here for now. Oh, what's been destroyed? One bit of wall was destroyed. Okay, let's go and have a look. I, uh, kind of not okay with wall being destroyed. That's really not good. Down here? Uh, yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's not something that we really ever want to happen. Uh, so let's get some sniper turrets down here. That should be more than enough. Uh, there, there, and there. Perfect. That's good. Um attack up top. Up top, honestly, is our most defended area. Like, if you're gonna attack up top, Mr. Biters, then you, you better try a bit harder. Okay, uh, let's reassign this wall, I guess. Put that there. That might help make it a little bit more sturdy. We'll also give it a little bit of a repair job. Yeah. I don't really like repairing it, to be honest. I would love it if we could, uh... I would love it if there was, like, some easier way of repairing all this stuff that was not robots. You know, something that was less advanced that allowed us to repair uh, structural damage. That might well be a thing that's installed as a mod, but it would be really, really cool if we had, like, uh, you know, some regenerative concrete or something. Concrete that repaired itself over time. That would be super, super cool. Just means that you don't have to constantly go around repairing stuff. Uh, we'll also queue up a couple of alien artifacts to be built because honestly we don't want them sitting around in our inventory. Still got loads of Galena, which is lovely. Really, really happy with the amount of Galena that we've got going on. It's pretty darn good. Uh, what next? Tin. Yes, we need to make sure that the tin situation is still fine, which it's not because we need some coal to power the furnaces. And that is something that we can, well, not easily do, but pretty easily do. Okay, don't pick up any carbon. Pick up all this coal. Good, 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 good. We've actually got a lot of coal around our base, and for that we're kind of lucky. Uh, we really are. We're at a hundred... Okay, mm, we need a bit more coal, to be honest. Yeah, okay, I'll go and pick up coal from over here, too. Uh, yeah, so we're really lucky that we've got a load of coal around our base. It's, uh, it's quite nice. 200 coal. 400 coal. Great. That's good. How much do you have? You can have... Whatever. You can have that. You can have that. And you can have that. Okay, that should bring us back up to full tin producing mode. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, but uh, if we have a little look on the map, we can see that that's the color of tin. And I know for a fact that there is tin deposits elsewhere nearby. That's iron over there. That's not tin. There is tin deposits nearby. That's tin down there. So, you know, there is stuff around. There is stuff around. Um... Somebody commented and said that there's also Galena around down here. I know there's down on the east coast somewhere. I think it might be this color. I think that might be the color of Galena, but I'm not entirely sure. And maybe that. I, I, I don't really know. But, you know, for, for Galena, we're fine at the moment. We're, uh, we're not really having a, a major Galena issue, so to speak. It's actually kind of kind of good, really. Um, all right, we've got 49 green science pack, so let's quickly head up to the furnace area, the furnace area, the bloody pff, science area, and sort things out over there, ooh, we'll probably pick you up, yep, good, 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 uh, head, how's that area, that, that wall is, that wall is looking brittle, but fine, how about the walls over here, uh, I'm gonna give these walls a quick little repair, I don't really like repairing walls, as I've literally just addressed, but, I kind of think that it's necessary. Very necessary. Yep. Yep. Missed you. Great. Perfect. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Grand. Let's go in here. Uh, and let's, in here, set up a little chest. Come on. I kind of don't want to let it stop. I'll just... I'll, I'll use a long-armed inserter then, I guess. Oops. We cancelled... cancelled five of these bad boys. There we go. 
And I'll just use a long armed inserter instead, I guess. Uh, yeah, that can go there. Do, 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 do. do we have any chests? I guess we don't have a single chest at all, really? Yeah, we don't have a single chest. Wow. That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Build me a chest. Thank you. Put that there, and then in here we can put our blue science. This blue science should, in theory, all filter through. I mean, a little bit will get lost in the, in the splitters, but it should all really filter through into the science area, and it should all be pretty darn quick in, uh, in bringing this landfill online. Kind of rather hopeful, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. But it looks good, this area. It looks good. We've got good plans for this area, and I like the, the organization that we've uh, that we've sort of gone through. It's looking looking pretty darn good. Let's see if it actually just works. Hey, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. That is looking not too bad at all. Landfill is making progress. Landfill is making progress. Uh... Eight turrets are engaged with the enemy. Alright, that's fine. We recently uh, beefed up that area anyway, so no biggie. Uh, everything looking good up here? Ah, it's looking mostly fine. Alright, great. Landfill is on its way. That's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just quickly going to repair all these walls so they don't stack, or they don't not stack, so to speak. The reason that I want to repair these walls is so that they do stack. Uh, let's also get a little bit of light out here because I can barely see what I'm fucking doing. Okay, boom. There we go. That's a little bit better, I feel. Ah, always feels nice to see what you're doing. Alright. Okay, let's get this all picked up. There is still kind of like a massive hole in the base, if I'm completely honest, but it's... It's not exactly bad. There's a big hole over there. Yeah, it's not great. Let's try and fix that right now while we're waiting for landfill, just to get completed. I mean, we might as well, right? I mean, this wall's this wall's not permanent by any stretch of the imagination, but it's doing a good job. It's doing a good job. Okay. Uh, any more walls by any chance? Can we build a wall? Build a great wall? Okay. There we go, and I guess we'll put some sniper turrets down. And honestly, if we could somehow get some inserters in here, and extend the, the ammo belt around, then that would be kind of amazing. That would be kind of amazing. Hey, great, landfill is done, done, done. Which is really, really good, because I'm really, really, really looking forward to uh, filling in some land. Okay, man, you can just tell that that gaping hole is just a recipe for disaster, isn't it? It really is. It really is a recipe for disaster. Alright, come on, let's get this built up nice and quick. We've got landfill now. Okay. Down here. Okay. That's grand. Can we get some more small electronic poles? I guess not. Guess that's just not possible. Uh, what do we need? We need some... We need some wood. Just some plain old wood. Some plain old wood down here. Or in this chest. I'll take some. Oh! Crap, we already had, like, tons of electric poles. Well, who cares? Doesn't matter. I'll take you. I'll take you. And this should allow us to finish off the wall. In theory. Okay, I don't really care about it looking that neat or uniformed, whatever. Just about getting it done, getting it hooked up, getting it plugged in. Should be good enough for me. Uh, they are sniper turrets, so that's a slight disadvantage I suppose uh, they're not super fast firing but I'm hoping that we can you know exist with sniper turrets like I really can because they're really cool oh, it's really stupid potato what are you doing there we go it's pretty good that's a pretty good wall off if ever I did see one 
Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, let's get a little bit of landfill set up. Do, 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 do. Landfill used to build grass can also be used to mine any kind of path. Uh, sweet. Okay, so I think this is that's the basic landfill. Like, is there? There's no landfill. There is. There is like landfill in the game now, like in the base Factorio game, which is kind of cool. Okay, so how does this work? Okay, uh, I, I kind of understand it. I don't really understand it, but hey, it's pretty cool actually. I don't quite understand how it works though. Okay, well, it's working, and that's the only thing that I can. That's the only thing that I can observe. Is there any other landfill? That's landmines. I guess this is the only landfill. That's cool. Uh, great. Let's place down the rest of this. And we should be absolutely sorted. There we go. Alright. That's really good. That is really, really good. Uh, I do eventually want to get rid of this entire area. But I guess that's good enough for now. I'm, I might keep a little bit of stone on me if that's okay, game. That would be lovely, thanks. Okay. There we go. All right. So that might be that might be good enough. Um let's get you and you to meet in the middle like so. That's perfect. Might not exactly be enough throughput, but we'll have to, you know, figure around that, I guess. Uh next is the the solder plates. And we need tin and we need lead. And this is made in the blue furnaces, right? The, the blue furnace, the metal mixing furnace, I think, right? Yeah, solder plate. Okay, um, how are we going to do this? Well, we've got tin that comes along this way. It is tin that we need, yeah? I, I want to make sure that I don't completely balls it up. Okay, good. Well, we should probably split this, actually. Because at the moment, all of the tin is just being used for for this. Shit, no. Put that all back in there. Yeah, all the tin is being used for... Let's do that. All the tin is being used to just produce simple tinned copper wire. Which is kind of cool, I guess, but... Not at the same time, not very great for us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're using a lot of tin right now, but eh, eh, I, I, don't, I don't like how we don't have any tin to spare. It's perhaps not a great idea. All right, well, let's just assume that we've got tin for spare. We'll actually split it off this time properly. We should we should really have split this and then made a, a route down here, but eh, whatever. I mean, we can change it later, I guess. It's no big deal. Okay. Like so. And again. Like so. Take this bit up. By the way, those chests right there. Oops. Not the right thing. Whatever. Uh, these chests right here are just temporary. Uh, eventually we'll have an iron, uh, an iron processing area. A lead processing area. And it'll feed directly onto this belt. So that's worth noting in case you're interested. Connect you up. Bring this down this way. Looking pretty darned good. Let's make a whole butt ton of metal mixing furnaces. Why not? Let's do it. And let's also make sure that we line them up in a way which makes them not look like total trash. Alright. Oh. We can make stone brick in the metal mixing furnaces? What? Purified copper. Oh, what does that do? That's kind of cool. I don't understand how it is, but... Eh, yeah, steel plate, copper plate, purified copper. Huh. Aye, I don't understand how that works, but kind of cool, I guess. Um, That's not what we need, though. What we need is solder plate. Uh, what we do need also is long-armed inserters, both of which should be grand. 
Uh, we're also going to need coal to power these bad boys. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it. Shouldn't be that difficult to organize. Should be very much within the realm of possibility. Okay, do we have any poles that will... Shit. It's always a problem. This is, I mean, this is only a problem until we get uh, power. Let me see if we can get power distribution mark 2. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Electric energy distribution. Medium electric poles. That's 120 science packs. Um, I guess it's kind of worth beelining for. I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll sign up for it. Yeah, sure, sign me up. Um, it's kind of annoying how we have to do that. Let's not build these right now. Build me some underground belt, I guess. And then build me a bunch of science packs. Yeah, and that, you know, that'll just tick away. We'll, we'll let that build up a little bit as things go on. Now, I want you to... Will that work? That should work, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the plan. There we go, there we go. And we've already got shit tons of electricity poles. Grand. Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. It's nowhere near enough tin, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Uh... Okie doke. There is a there is one thing that I want to do. I want to readjust this belt so that it goes like that. Because I would love, 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 love to put in oh we need one more bit of belt. It's okay, we got loads of belt up here. Uh well, I say one more bit of belt. We've got loads of belt up there. Uh, I would love to make it so that this comes down one side only. Mm, maybe not that side though. Uh what do we need more of? What's the what's the ratio? What's the ratio for this? Seven lead plate and four tin plate. Uh, okay, so we basically need double lead. We need double lead plate to what we do need of tin plate. So what we'll do is we'll get tin plate to come down this side, right? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, you go like this. That goes there. That goes there. Tin plate will come down this side. Then we'll have a bit of an underground belt over here that brings out the coal and then that loops in there and that'll go down the, the right hand side of that belt. That's going to be what we do in the next episode because for now, ladies and gents, my name of course has been Obed Potato. This has been Factorio Undefeatable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.